Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you more Christian children's books. A couple of weeks ago, I shared Christian's children's books, devotionals, and Bibles, and I realized that I had so many great books to share with you that I was not going to get them all into one video. And I also had some that I didn't physically have yet that I knew I would have coming soon. And so today is a follow-up to that video, just sharing with you a most recent haul that we have of Christian children's books that I am so excited about and I can't wait to share them with you. So I will be sharing with you books from toddler all the way to teen because if you are new around here, I'm Christina and I am a mom of five kids ranging from ages two all the way to 14. So if you have kids anywhere in that range, there will be something for you in today's video. First and foremost, I wanna thank Good and True Media because they sent me a bunch of books to try with my family. If you are not familiar with Good and True Media, they have beautiful literature. They are a Christian company and they only put out Christian books that have godly morals and values and lessons in them. So half of the books that I'll be sharing with you today are from Good and True Media. I will also have a discount code for you and a link down below where you can shop all of the books on Good and True Media. I have a copy of every single book that they have published to date to show you today. So I'm really excited about that. And then I have a bunch of other books that I'm going to share with you as well. So I'm going to share with you the other books first and then the second and half of the video, I'll share with you the books from Good and True Media. I'm going to start with the only board book that I have, and this is a new one that I just got for my two-year-old, and this is called Don't Forget to Remember by Ellie Holcomb. And this is a really beautiful book, and it says, do you ever forget to remember what's true? Sometimes remembering is hard to do, but in this lyrical tale, Ellie Holcomb celebrates creation's reminders of God's love which surrounds us from sunrise to sunset, even on our most forgetful days. So I love how this book really shows how creation points us to the creator. And if we pay attention and kind of be in that moment to focus on him, we can have that perspective. And it reminds me a lot of the book that I shared with you guys in the last Christian children's book haul that I did. Um, the book, This I Know, that is really about a similar theme of looking at creation and how it points to the creator and shows us God's goodness and faithfulness and power and all of those things. So this is Don't Forget to Remember. And I will try to link all of these books below as well, not just the ones from Good and True Media. Um, next up, I'm going to share with you the Tales That Tell the Truth series. And if you are not familiar with Tales That Tell the Truth, we only ha currently have three of them but we love them. The first one that we ever got was The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross. And so I don't have that one in front of me because while I was getting books together for this video, I cannot find it. We love it. It's a favorite. I wish I had it to show you, but I could not find it. And so what I do have to show you though is the coloring and activity book that goes along with The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross. And I got this for my six-year-old and I haven't given it to her yet, but I know she is going to absolutely love it. It has the same um, storyline and imagery as the book and it is just really cool because it's a way for them to engage with the concepts and I just love this idea it kind of reminds me of the coloring and sticker book versions of like the big book of the blue big book of blooms um, big book of bugs if you're familiar with those they're not necessarily Christian books or nature books, but they have like a related coloring and sticker book. This one doesn't have stickers, but it's kind of the same vibe, if that makes sense. So really, really excited for her to jump into this. And they have a ton of these that go along with the tales that tell the truth books. The two that I do have to show you for today are the God Contest. And I just want to say too, what I love about the tales that tell the truth is not just that they're really great literature and not just that they have beautiful, engaging illustrations that even my older kids really love, but they are so biblically sound in the sense that they truly show this connection between how the stories of the Old Testament are not separate from Jesus, but really have always pointed to him and, and the whole story from creation all the way through the Old Testament into the New Testament um, 
really all point to Jesus and the story and his story of redemption. So this is the God contest, the true story of Elijah, Jesus, and the greatest victory. And the back says there are all sorts of contests, spelling contests, singing contests, sewing contests, sporting contests, but this book isn't about any of these those contests. It's about the God contest. Find out what happened when Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to a God contest and when Jesus set up an even bigger God contest hundreds of years later. Warning, this book contains a very, very big fire. So I've been sharing over on Instagram a little bit more lately how I use like object lessons to go along with picture books about God to really help make that hands-on connection for my littler kids. So definitely if you're not already following me over there at rooted underscore home life, follow me over there so you can see like really simple ways that I'll be connecting this book and some other books that I share with you today and that I've shared in the past. So that is the God contest. The other one that I have to share with you from Tales That Tell the Truth is Jesus and the Lion's Den, a true story about how Daniel points us to Jesus. And this one says, oops, shouldn't this book be called Daniel and the Lion's Den? No, enjoy the exciting story of Daniel and some huge hungry lions and then spot the Jesus moments to discover something even more exciting about the real king of everyone and everywhere. So that is Jesus and the Lion's Den. Next up, I want to show you, which I feel like has a very similar vibe, but it is um, unique at the same time. And I saw this while I was on a date with my 14-year-old. We went out to lunch and we went to a bookstore and we saw this book and I almost bought it that day, but I was trying not to spend too much money and he asked for a different book. And so I kept this in the back of my mind to get it as a gift for him. And so I did. And this is the parables and wisdom of Jesus. Go and do likewise. Now, if you've been around here for a while, I am a big fan of picture books, even throughout the teen years, like even for adults. I love beautiful picture books and there's just something to be said for a visual. Like teens don't always have to read chapter books, although that's important and has its value in its own way. Although I love him to read the Bible in its full text, there is something about a beautiful picture book that brings to life not only, you know, obviously stories about God and stories about Jesus, but, you know, other stories as well. So this does an incredible job of that. And the back just says simply, blessed are those who work for peace. They understand what it means to be God's child. And so it goes through the parables of Jesus. And I mean, look at these illustrations, you guys. Like what older kid or even adult would not appreciate these incredible illustrations and just the lettering and the fonts and the way things are presented, as well as the fact that it really just shows the heart of Jesus that he has for people. It's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Let me see if there's one more. Like, look at this one. And here he is on the back, the depiction of the Sermon on the Mount. So this is Go and Do Likewise. A few more that are like three sets. And then I want to show you the good and true media stuff. These I've been meaning to share with you guys, and I still have not gotten around to it. This is the 50 True Stories of Daring Men of God, Brave Heroes and Bold Defenders, these are awesome, short, one-page bios of people who have been fearless for their faith, who have used their God-given talents to live out their faith to the fullest. So people like um, Richard Allen, Tim Tebow, Father Damien, Frederick Douglass. There are so, so many. Nikki Cruz. So many stories and um, 50 to be exact. And I just love how it's a one-page bio and an image. I feel like this is great for so many different age groups. I read these to all of my kids. We try to do like one a day, sometimes one from each. And so that's the other one I wanted to show you is Courageous World Changers. This is 50 True Stories of Daring Women of God. And obviously it follows the same structure and shows all of these different people from all around the world. Um, and this one, you know, is women, obviously. And so these are really awesome short bios, ways to just really show your kids like what really living out your faith looks like, what bold faith looks like, what answering God's call on your life looks like. And so really awesome. 
I love those as well. Along those same lines, these series I've seen around a lot, so you may have seen them already, but this is the Christian Heroes Then and Now series. So here, I just have two examples. There are countless. I don't even know how many they have in this series, but there are tons. Now, these are much longer versions, so maybe for older kids, maybe for extended read-alouds. Um, you know, these are a full chapter book, a full biography. So here I just have Corey Ten Boom and Gladys Alward. So really, really great series as well. If you're looking for something for older kids, if you're looking for something more extended than a one-page bio, you could do something like, for example, Corey Ten Boom is in here. So if they saw the one-page bio and they were really excited about it and wanted to learn more, then you could get the Christian Heroes then and now. Or you could have different, you know, you could read this to everyone and have all of your kids learn a little bit about that person and then have some of your older kids dig in deeper with these. Right in between these two, that would also fit in in some ways. Like you'd have to figure out which ones match up. This would be the Lightkeeper series. So I have 10 girls who didn't give in. And I also have 10 boys who didn't give in. I also have 10 boys who changed the world somewhere around here. And this is another series where there are countless of them. I don't even know how many. There are box, box sets of these as well. And so these are longer than like these bios, but shorter than these. So you'll get, um, you know, like a few pages per person. So once again, you might be able to find and match up where you have like the shortest picture book version, a little bit longer version for maybe like your upper elementaries and then your middle slash highs could do this and still be learning about the same missionaries and people of God. So really, really cool um, way to tie in learning about missionaries and people who have lived boldly for God. That is it for the group of books that I had other than the books from Good and True Media. I want to show you this one that's really, really sweet. And this is called I Grew With You. And it says a month by month celebration of the loving bond between a pregnant mother and her growing child. Um, this is the only one that's like this. The other ones, you'll see what I mean. The other ones are very different. But this would be a really cool gift for like a new mom or just if you're having a baby and you wanted to read it to one of your older kids. Just lots of different ways where this would be really, really special. Next one is... The American Dream of Brave and Young. And this says, Mom says that Dad is working late to help save America. What does that even mean? Raven wanders into its Dad's office late one night to find out. He discovers the country is awaiting a speech his Dad must give, but he can't figure out how to end it. Raven can help. All he must do is define what true freedom is. How hard can it be? But then the unthinkable happens. Raven falls asleep and wakes up in Washington, D.C., able to do whatever he wants. Freedom as he knows it. But as his American dream spirals out of control, Raven begins to realize that freedom is so much more. So really excited about this one, to read this one with my kids as well. Next up is Jack and the Fantastical Circus. So it says, children of all ages, step right up and meet the fantastic traveling circus brigade. Ignite your imagination with a circus unlike any other. Follow Jack as he encounters a brigade of sensational circus performers and learns inspiring lessons in courage, commitment, faith, and so much more. So I like how these have like an adventure vibe to them, but teach um like strong morals and faith within them as well so i really really love that and if you're wondering about like their their mission statement which is right here i'll read it to you it says good and true media aims to educate the imagination of children through fun thought-provoking stories built on a strong moral foundation we are dedicated to deepening the mind moving the heart and strengthening the soul of children we foster wonder in children so that they can pursue a virtuous life by publishing new value-based stories with a strong moral message and republishing classic works in a way that makes the stories of old new and accessible to a modern audience, we are able to be the positive influence parents need when entrusting their children to media. Good and True is a proudly Christian company that seeks to shape the future of children's literature. Launched in 2021, we are only beginning our journey, but we pledge to remain steadfast in our core purpose to help children grow in virtue. I have five more for you guys. We have two from the Virtue Adventures. We have book one and book two, which are Justice on the Acropolis 
and Courage in the Coliseum. And it says, we must save the philosopher. Maggie Murphy doesn't get it. Why does she get in trouble and her little, little brother doesn't? What she doesn't know is that she is about to be visited by her guardian angel and taken back to ancient Greece to save the philosopher. She will be chased through the Parthenon, attend Socrates' trial, and visit Plato's Academy. Can she save the philosopher before it's too late? Follow Maggie on her adventure back in time to find justice on the Acropolis. And so um, this obviously is for like older kids. So that is Justice on the Acropolis. Next up is Courage in the Coliseum. And it says, we must release the lions. When Maggie fails to stand up for her faith against the town bully, Mikey, her guardian angel, returns with a new mission, one that will test her courage. Maggie follows him back to ancient Rome where she meets a group of Christians who are persecuted by Emperor Nero. Whether it be gladiator fights, chariot races, or the hidden catacombs, Maggie sees it all, but will she have the courage to stand up for her faith against Caesar? Follow Maggie on her adventure back in time to find courage in the Colosseum. And so one thing that I also did want to mention is that both of these have an index as well. So I thought that was pretty cool to dig in deeper to that learning. The last ones that I have to show you are the newest, I believe, from Good and True Media. And this is the Holy Moly's series. So we have Marvin and the Explosive Experiment. Now I will tell you, these are the ones that I looked through the most ahead of time because they were on the top in the box, um, even though they're the last ones that I'm showing you. And so I'm going to show you what stuck out to me first before I show you the story because I will use these for homeschooling. Obviously, I use all my books for homeschooling because homeschooling and life just go together. But I could see myself using these as a whole, what I would consider a lesson. And so after the story, it goes through virtues and vices that were highlighted in the story, right? Which I absolutely love that because we're gonna be focusing a lot on character building and discipleship and all of those things um, moving forward in our homeschool. And then it goes through again with discussion questions and symbolism, like what Marvin's halo symbolizes. It connects scripture and there are fun facts in there as well. So there's a lot that can be done with these, especially if you are homeschooling, so I love that. And then a little bit about the author and the illustrator. So this story says, Marvin's Big Blunder. Marvin Mole loves experiments, and he's pretty good at performing them too. But when Marvin's confidence gets the best of him, it's time for some tough love, keen insight, and a clever idea to make things right again. So that is Marvin and the Explosive Experiment. Okay, next up we have Molly and the Lipstick Lie. And again, in the back, there are some cool things. A word search. I would probably make copies of these pages so that all of my kids could do them, or at least the kids that are like the ages that would be able to do them. But again, it has the virtues and the vices. And I like how, you know, some of the virtues and the vices will be the same, but some of them are different from one another. So you can focus on different virtues and different vices from the stories. So this one says, Molly's big day. Finally, the big day has arrived, recital day. And Molly Mole wants to put on a show to remember. But after a few bad decisions, Molly's recital day becomes a day to forget. Until that is, Mama Mole shares some wisdom and a piece of family history. So that is Molly and the Little Lipstick Lie. Last one is Mikey and the Not So Awesome Possums. So the back section once again has those same things, but this says Mikey's big chance. Mikey Mole is excited for a new year at school after the long summer break, but an unexpected opportunity to become friends with the awesome possums along with some wise words from Grandpa Morty teaches Mikey an important lesson about true friendship. So that is Mikey and the Not So Awesome Possums. I am so excited to dig into these books with my kids. I hope there was something in here that you are excited to try with your own kids. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books, if you have any favorites that I have not talked about in today's video. If you would like to see my last video that had Christian books, devotions, and Bibles for kids, I will link that down below as well. I will try to link all of the books I've shared today as well as my discount code and the link to shop Good and True Media. Again, if you are not already following me over on Instagram, I would love to connect with you over there at rooted underscore home life. If you're new here, introduce yourself in the comments down below. 
I love to get to know you guys and just continue to create community with you. So if you are not already subscribed, I would love if you would stick around, click that red subscribe button. I share all different kinds of content on my channel from homeschooling to motherhood, big family life, faith, all of the things. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until next time, stay rooted.